Today we're going to be looking at the 10 cheapest states in the United States to buy a house in because right now affordability is at the top of mind for pretty much anyone looking to buy a home right now and if you have any sort of flexibility whatsoever, whether it is an opportunity to move to another state with a job offer or maybe you already have remote work flexibility or maybe you're just being priced out of where you live right now and you're looking for a more affordable place to live, then you're going to want to stick around because I actually have a bonus state in this video as well because two of them are basically a tie. Now all the data that we're going to be looking at is coming from redfin.com and all of these median house prices we're going to be looking at as well are all the median list price of what homes are listed for right now. So obviously that's not what homes have sold for but because the prices have been going up so much this median list price is going to be fairly close to what homes have been selling for within the last six months, which us as realtors use for a decent comparable. So these prices we're looking at should be pretty accurate in terms of what you could expect to pay right now in any of these given states. Now the very first state on the list is Illinois, my home state. And I was actually surprised to see this be the most expensive cheap state being from there because the median list price right now is $297,500. And to make it even sweeter for you guys, I want to also show you where's actually the cheapest metro within Illinois that Redfin tracks in order to buy a home right now. And according to Redfin, that would be Aurora, Illinois at $254,900. But I want to disclose something here. As we're looking through this list, I can personally tell you being from Illinois and being from a much smaller town than Aurora, that there are other places that are still significantly cheaper than this. Like even though in Aurora, the median list price right now might be 254. Like for example, where I'm from in Belvedere, Illinois, it's more like $150,000. So keep that in mind as you're watching this video, because if you see anywhere that might be of interest for you that you think you might consider relocating locating to then just keep in mind within that state there's going to be more rural areas and more affordable places than even what we're looking at here number nine on the list is oklahoma coming in at two hundred and eighty nine thousand nine hundred dollar list price for a home right now and within oklahoma it's looking like the cheapest cities to buy a home there right now would be guthrie oklahoma and midwest city right around both of them right around about one hundred and ninety nine thousand dollars right now next is mississippi they're coming in at number eight on our list and the median home price right now in mississippi is two $285,900 and if you wanted to move to Mississippi this kind of confirms that my point that I was saying earlier you can see the metros here in Mississippi range quite a bit in price and you can see by far Jackson Mississippi is the cheapest area at only $115,000 average list price for a home next up is Indiana coming in at $275,000 and if you wanted to be in the cheapest area of Indiana right now, it's looking like that will probably be in Gary, Indiana at only $94,900, which is pretty impressive that you can even still buy a house anywhere for that price, but it does still exist, guys, so Gary, Indiana. Now, number six is actually where we're coming to our tie states. I actually have two states that are number six because the prices are actually identical. So in Kentucky is the first number six at $269,900. And if you wanted to be in Kentucky, the cheapest city to be in Kentucky right now looks like it would be Florence, Kentucky at $246,000. And the Thai state of Kentucky is Wisconsin coming in at exactly the same median list price, $269,900. And the cheapest area, which blew me away, guys, in Wisconsin right now, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. $145,000. Now being from Illinois, I've been to Milwaukee several times and it's a pretty cool place. They have a lot of fun things to do there. It's a nice city in general and I was surprised to see that it's still that cheap over there in Milwaukee. So you want a nice city to live in. If you can handle the cold, 
check out Milwaukee. Number five on the list is Missouri, coming in at an even $250,000. And I'm sure you guys probably noticed this by now that we are going in descending order. So the more this list goes on, the cheaper the homes get all the way up until number one. And in Missouri right now, it's looking like the cheapest place to buy a home is probably going to be Independence, Missouri at $167,000. Now I wanted to make this video as a service to everybody who watches this video, basically to just sum it all up for you real quick so you don't have to do the research. It took me a couple hours to do this research and actually figure out and rank the states and figure out which ones were actually the cheapest. So I cut out all that guesswork for you so you could just go ahead and watch this video in a few minutes and figure that out for yourself. So if this video did help you, then please make sure to give it a like and feel free to share it with some of your friends who might be looking to move to a new state. The fourth cheapest state on our list is almost a tie with the previous one, which is Pennsylvania at 249,900. And the cheapest city right now in Pennsylvania, and this is according to Redfin guys, which would be York, Pennsylvania, at hundred and ninety nine thousand nine hundred dollars and the third cheapest state in the US would be Arkansas at a median list price of two hundred and forty four thousand nine hundred and twenty dollars with the cheapest city coming in at Pine Bluff Arkansas at only a hundred and nineteen thousand dollars for a home there so still very affordable in Arkansas and as I'm going on to the next one guys I realize that some of these spots might not be the most desirable places to live but they are affordable and I think right now affordable equals desirable because people cannot afford California prices which this is my list I went through all of these states manually to just see what everything is costing right now California and Hawaii are at the top of the list we're talking 759,000 in Hawaii and California is actually more median list price of 769,000 so obviously there are a lot of other states in between but even the in-between ones, we're talking mid 300s, low 400s now for a normal home in a lot of these other states. So compared to a lot of other places, these states that we're looking at here are a bargain. And coming in at number two for our bargain list of states is Michigan at $224,850. And wow, look at that. Not really a surprise, I guess, which is, I think the price is surprising to me, but it's not surprising to see that the cheapest place in Michigan to buy a home is Detroit at only 74999 Everybody knows that Detroit has had its fair share of problems over the past couple of decades, so it's no surprise that homes are so cheap there still. But um, man, Detroit is looking like quite the bargain nowadays. And our number one state on the list is Ohio. I was not expecting to see this at all. I would never guess if you asked me, you could put a gun to my head that Ohio would be the number one cheapest state in America right now to buy a home. Only $209,000 is the median list price of a home. And the lowest price area is actually Cleveland, Ohio on this list where you could actually buy a home for $95,000 on average in Cleveland. So. Yeah, they get a lot of snow. They get that lake effect snow right there. No big deal. If you can handle all that snow, there you go, man. Cleveland for under a hundred grand right now, you can buy a home, which is unbelievable considering the prices of some of these other areas. Now, if you're skeptical and you're waiting for the next real estate crash, then go ahead and check out this video I did right over here about when I think the next crash is coming and I'll catch you guys over there.